Hey everybody, it's Rachel from Rachel is Knitting and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Ravelry stash feature to figure out what yarn you have available for use. Before I get started, I do want to forewarn you that this video does show screen recordings of Ravelry, so if Ravelry causes harm to you, please click out of this video and I'll see you next time. Alright, here we are on the Ravelry homepage. Today's video is the next installment of my series of videos trying to convince you of the value of using the stash feature on Ravelry. So today I'll be going over how to quickly see what yarn you have available in your Ravelry stash. So to access your Ravelry stash, take your mouse to the upper right hand corner of your screen and scroll down to the stash option. Click on it and this will bring you to a view of your Ravelry stash. Yours will certainly look differently than what we see here because this is all of the yarn I've logged in my personal stash on Ravelry. Now let's say that you're searching for patterns and you need to figure out what yarn in your Ravelry stash is available for use. Maybe there's some yarn that you've made a mental note that you want to use in a future project or maybe there's some yarn that's already in use in a project and you're not going to remember that off the top of your head. So just to save yourself from harm heartache and avoid double dipping with the intentions you have for yarn use, you can quickly see what's available with some filters in the Ravelry stash feature. On the right hand side of your stash feature, you'll see an option to filter your stash. By clicking select filters, you'll see a drop down menu of different options of filters you can apply to your Ravelry stash. If I bring my mouse down to the bottom, I'm going to select not queued. That means any yarn that I have previously queued using the Ravelry queue feature will no longer be shown in my search. Select that and you can see that the view changes. If I go back up to the filters and click on the drop down menu again, I can add another filter. This time I'll select not in my projects. I will say one annoying thing about the functionality of this is I wish that I could select multiple things in this drop down before it disappeared, but once you click one thing, it does close it out automatically, which is unfortunate. But now I'm shown a view of my yarn that is neither queued nor in a Ravelry project. So if I'm diligent about entering data in my queue and also in my Ravelry project, then the view of this Ravelry stash will be accurate. And I know that any of these skeins are able to be pulled when looking at new project ideas. So there's a quick way to look at what you have available without having to sift through the various yarn storage locations. You may be keeping your stash in the physical world this is a very quick and easy way to do it in the virtual world. So I hope that's helpful. Happy searching, happy knitting, and I'll see you later. 